Is this wine? Juice? Bubbly? Fizzy drink? No, no, no. It's called nectar. Nectar making is a brand new mini skill that came along with Horse Ranch. Previously, it was featured in The Sims Making Magic and The Sims 3 World Adventures, and now it's finally here in The Sims 4. Making nectar is very similar to making wine in real life. You know, real life, right? It's not this or this, it is this. Yeah. Pretty much you crush the fruit and other materials, store them, and you know, they, they age. With age increases its value and most of the time, the taste as well. And just like wine in real life, nectar will give your sims some interesting moodlets. I called nectar making a mini skill because it doesn't go up to level 10. It only goes to level 5. So no, <laughs> there's nothing broken with your game if you've hit level 5 and you're wondering, where's the other 5 levels? As you level up this skill, you unlock additional benefits and recipes. Like most of the skills in this game. You can make some mullions with nectar making, but more on that in a bit. So, how do you increase your nectar making skill? By making it, obviously. <laughs> it really is the only way to increase the skill. There's no TV show or book to read or watch, and you can't gain skill by consuming it either. But there's no harm in trying. There's also no conversation skill gain. Most of the time with cooking and bartending and things like that, you can gain skills by talking to other sims about it. But this isn't the case for this. To begin your nectar making journey, you'll need to purchase a nectar maker for 350 simoleons. And you'll need to make sure you have the right ingredients. Some skills that might go well with nectar making would be gardening, bartending, cooking, and baking. But honestly, gardening would be the most important one out of all of those because it can directly impact your nectar making process. This is because your sim will need to either grow or buy the ingredients for nectar, like strawberries, apples, potatoes, grapes, and lemons. So yeah, just keep making more nectar until you've reached max level. It'll be roughly 50 bottles to reach level five. Overall, there are 13 nectar recipes. Only 10 of them are available to all sims. The other three are only available to vampires, spellcasters, and werewolves. At level one with your nectar making skill, you can make apple nectar with three apples and grape nectar with three grapes. At level two, you can make strawberry nectar with three strawberries and potato nectar with three potatoes. At level three, you can make trash nectar with three trash fruit and prairie grass nectar with three prairie grass hay. At level four, you can make energy nectar with two lemons and one herb. Any herb. Plasma nectar with three plasma fruit. This is the nectar only vampires can make. Valerian nectar with three valerian roots. This is the nectar only spellcasters can make. Finally, moon petal nectar with three moon petal. This is the one only werewolves can make. At level 5, you can make Vitality Nectar with one Death Flower and two Spinaches. Spinaches? Spinach leaves. Bundles of spinach with two of them. You can also make Berry Nectar with three of any berries and lastly, Fruit Nectar with three of any fruit. And like I said before, different nectars will give you different moodlets and you'll just generally get different moodlets as you drink more or less. If any of the nectars had specific moodlets, I put them up on screen while I explained the recipe. So if you were only listening and not watching and you want to know that, you gotta go back and rewatch it, okay? <laughs> Sorry. The real question is how the heck do you make simoleons with this? You sell it. Of course. Come on. Come on, party people. There is a trick to it though. You need to keep an eye on the quality and the age. There are three levels of quality, poor, normal, and excellent. There are also three age ranges, lately aged, which is two sims days, moderately aged, five sim days, finely aged, seven to eight sim days. And don't worry, the type of nectar will not affect any of this. However, when you've leveled up your nectar making skill and you've unlocked nectar types, these are worth more than your average nectar of the same age and quality. Vitality nectars worth the most. 
I highly recommend creating nectar that is off the bat higher quality. So any of those nectars you can make with those higher skill levels and then make sure it's finely aged and make sure the quality is high. And that is your best bet for making some cash moolah, baby. My biggest tip for you would be to always sell your nectar when it's finely aged. None of that lightly aged or moderately aged. Nah, we only do finely aged in this house. You'll make way more simoleons since its value is nearly 10 times more than lightly aged. If your goal with nectar making would be to make cash and not just for fun, I recommend picking the expert nectar making aspiration with the rancher trait. This will allow you to produce more bottles of nectar with fewer ingredients and it will shorten the aging process. Also, go find Roberto Crinkletop, <coughs> Robert Crumplebottom, to sell this to he will buy your nectar at a higher price. Another thing you need to do is go harvest prairie grass every so often. Not only can you make nectar with it, but you might find full nectar bottles in your harvest. It doesn't happen all the time, but it can happen. Plus, you also get other basic ingredients that you can use for nectar making, which is good, not hating, just not as fun as the full nectar bottles. There you go, a guide all about the brand new mini skill, nectar making. Let me know how you've been enjoying horse ranch and nectar making. Thank you for picking and watching my video out of all of the videos here on YouTube. It means a lot to me and I greatly appreciate it. Every single view, like, and subscribe truly helps me out. Thank you. I hope you stay happy, healthy, and hydrated. Until next time, bye!